Hey there and welcome over here to today's fall crock pot recipes video. I am so excited to share this one with you today because I don't know about you but I love crock pot meals because you could just dump them in your crock pot and you could go to work or you could go do whatever you have to do throughout the day. It's really convenient but these are some of my family's all time favorite crock pot meals so I hope you guys all enjoy it and I'm going to be posting a lot more of these crock pot recipe videos this fall so I would love to have you over at my channel. So go ahead and subscribe down below the video, but let's get making some crock pot meals. To get us started off, we're making this cheesy chicken pasta dish, and this one's really good. So into my crock pot, I'm adding two cans of cream of soup. I used one can of cream of chicken soup and one can of cream of mushroom soup. Do you just use whatever type of cream of soup you like though? Next, I added a half a cup of some chicken broth, and now I'm just going to mix these together Now I'm adding in my chopped up one small onion. You could also add in about a cup and a half of some sliced mushrooms. I didn't have any mushrooms on hand, so I just opted out of that part. And then for some seasonings, I just added a half a teaspoon of some oregano and a little bit of some salt and pepper to taste. And once again, you're just going to whisk this to combine. Now I'm going to be adding in my pound and a half of some chicken breast. I chose to use frozen chicken breasts. When it comes to crock pot meals, I am always so last minute in the morning. I always forget to take out my chicken the night before to thaw. So you could use fresh chicken breasts if that's what you had on hand. But of course I only had frozen. I just put this on low for six hours. Here we are about six hours later and I'm gonna start cooking up our pasta. So you're gonna to wanna to cook up a pound of pasta altogether. The recipe calls for penne pasta. I only had a half a pound of penne pasta and half a pound of bow ties left. So that equaled a pound, so that's just what I got boiling up. And now that our chicken is completely cooked, I just shredded it up with my little shredder gadget right here. To make this recipe extra creamy and delicious, I'm adding a cup of some sour cream into my crock pot right now along with a cup and a half of some sharp cheddar cheese and I'm going to stir this together and I'm going to let that cheese melt down for about 5 minutes. Now that our cheese is nice and melty the way I like it to be, I'm just adding our pound of pasta that I drained in there and I'm just going to stir everything to combine and then on top of that I'm just adding another cup of some sharp cheddar cheese and then sprinkling some parsley flakes on top. The parsley flakes are just mainly for color to make it look a little bit nicer. And then I put my lid on and cooked this on low for an additional 20 minutes. Here is our crock pot pasta. This came out super duper delicious. I just served it with some garlic toast on the side and some steamed vegetables. Even Brinley, my one-year-old daughter, loved this one. This one was just super good and flavorful. I really do recommend it. I don't know about you, but I really do love some enchilada soup. So now we're making some crock pot enchilada soup. So to begin in my crock pot, I have three chicken breasts in there. Of course, they're frozen because I forgot to get them out in time to thaw. And then I just added about 15 ounces of some chicken broth along with my one diced up onion. Next, you're going to be adding a 10 ounce can of some red chili enchilada sauce. I like this enchilada soup because it's pretty much you dump a bunch of cans in and you could go. But now I'm adding a 10 ounce can of Rotel. Next I'll be adding 30 ounces of some black beans that are rinsed and drained. That's the equivalent of two cans if you were wondering that are 15 ounces each. You'll also be adding a 15 ounce can of some corn. I did drain this corn first. Nobody wants a bland enchilada soup, so now we're going to start seasoning it up. I'm just adding a teaspoon of some cumin and a half a teaspoon of some garlic powder and a little bit of some salt and pepper to taste. If you want it spicy, go ahead and add a half a teaspoon of some cayenne pepper as well. I just covered our crock pot up and cooked it on low for about five to seven hours, or you could cook this on high for three to four hours. 
Now that my chicken is completely cooked, I'm just going to begin to shred it up. I'm just using my shredder gadget right here, but you could shred it up with two forks or however you like to shred your meat. And now I'm adding my eight ounces of some cream cheese. I did cube this cream cheese up and I let it sit out for an hour before just so it got to be room temperature. I just put that in there along with my cheese. I just added about a cup of some cheese and I'm just going to cook this on low for an additional 30 minutes. Here we are about 30 minutes later. I'm just going to get my little whisk right here and whisk everything up together. Your cream cheese is still going to be blocks, but while whisking it, it's going to melt down and get incorporated. Here is my big bowl of enchilada soup. This came out so, so yummy. It's one of our family favorite recipes for sure. This one was a total hit. Now we're making some chicken bacon tater tot casserole. This was actually my first time ever making this one, so I was pretty excited about it. At the bottom of my crock pot, I did spray it with some non-stick spray. I just added a good layer of some tater tots in there, and now I'm adding my pound of chicken. This is just boneless, skinless chicken breast that I cubed up into small pieces. You wanna make sure you do cube it up. And now I'm just seasoning it with a little bit of some salt and pepper to taste. And here I have some bacon. I cooked up a total of five strips of bacon. I added about half of that to the chicken on top there. Next, I'm just sprinkling it with a little bit of some cheese, about a half a cup total. And then on top of that, I'm adding another layer of tater tots and then sprinkling it with more salt, pepper, cheese, and bacon. The very last thing you're gonna do is just pour three fourths cup of milk all over the top of your casserole and then you're going to put this on low for about four hours or until that chicken is completely cooked. Here is my plate. I thought this came out really good, but if I were to make it again, I think I would double the amount of chicken I added and bacon just so I could have more of those flavors in this dish. Now we're gonna be using some pork chops. I'm gonna show you a honey garlic pork chop recipe. So to begin, I'm gonna start on the sauce first. So into this bowl, I'm just adding a third a cup of some soy sauce along with our ketchup. This is just a half a cup of ketchup. Then you'll be adding a fourth a cup of some honey and about two teaspoons of some minced garlic. Over to the bottom of my crock pot, I'm just adding our four boneless pork chops right in there. And then on top of them, I'm just gonna be sprinkling them with a little bit of some salt and pepper just for some flavor. This one is another super simple recipe. All I'm doing now is covering our pork chops with that yummy sauce and then I'm placing my lid on top of the crock pot on low for about four hours. Here we are about four hours later. I'm gonna be making a cornstarch slurry to thicken our sauce up at this point. So into two tablespoons of water, I'm adding two tablespoons of cornstarch and you're just going to mix this to combine just so there's no more lumpy cornstarch pieces. Here is my crock pot. All I did was pour our cornstarch slurry in there and I kind of mixed it together just a little bit and then I put the lid on top and cooked this for an additional hour on low just to thicken that sauce up and completely finish cooking our pork chops. Here is my plate of pork chops all cooked up. I just served it on a bed of some white rice. This was an amazing sweet pork chop recipe. If you don't want it so sweet, you could add some sriracha sauce to the sauce, but this came out really delicious. 
Everybody loves a good old homemade hearty chicken noodle soup, so now that is what we're making. I'm just starting out by chopping up about four carrots into smaller pieces, along with four stalks of celery and one medium-sized white onion. Over to my crock pot, I'm just adding our vegetables right in there. This recipe is another super simple one. I just can't express how simple crock pot recipes are to make. And now I'm pressing in my four cloves of garlic, and then you're gonna be adding your chicken. You're just gonna need two boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Mine were frozen, of course, yours don't have to be frozen. Another um, type of chicken you could use is chicken thighs. That would be also really yummy in this recipe. And then for some seasonings, I'm adding two bay leaves, along with a teaspoon of some dried thyme and a teaspoon of some rosemary. Next, you're just going to be seasoning it with a little bit of some salt and pepper to taste. Now you'll be adding your eight cups of chicken broth in right now. Then you're just gonna be cooking this on low for about six to eight hours or until your chicken reaches the internal temperature of 165 degrees. Here we are about eight hours later. I'm just going to be pulling my chicken breasts out just like this and I'm gonna shred them up in a separate bowl. I just added back in our chicken that was completely shredded and now you're gonna be adding your eight ounces of egg noodles. I chose to use medium sized egg noodles but you could use large egg noodles, just whatever you like. And then you're gonna stir this around and keep your crock pot on low and this is gonna take about five to 10 minutes to completely cook your noodles. Now we have our soup completely cooked and our noodles are soft. I'm just going to take out our two bay leaves because nobody wants to accidentally eat a bay leaf while they're eating their soup. So now we're just going to add a half of a lemon. This lemon's going to give it a nice little kick. It's gonna make it extra yummy. So I just stirred that all together and now it's ready to serve. Here's my big old bowl of soup all plated up. This came out so delicious. We served it with some Parmesan cheese and parsley on top, and then one of these Sister Schubert's dinner rolls. We really like this brand of dinner rolls. They're super easy to make in the oven, and they turn out great. And that is a wrap of all of these crock pot meals. I hope you guys all enjoyed it and maybe got some crock pot inspiration for this fall. I hope you guys are all doing well and enjoying the colder weather. If you are having colder weather, it's starting to get chilly here in Utah, but hope you guys are all doing well and I'd love to have you here. So go ahead and subscribe down below the video, but I will see you in Sunday's video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.